All right, so we're going to now start talking about the type of problems that involve trigonometry uh, with angles and standard positions. So this is one type of problem that you'll come across. It says point P is on the terminal side of angle theta and evaluate the six trig functions for theta. So I have fortunately got that set up. So here are the six trig functions. Oops. And you might as well copy it for both problems. Okay, so this problem says that point P is on the terminal side of angle theta. So remember what that means. That means that when we do our rotations, see those are my axes there. I'll do it set up here too. Those are my axes. Point P is on the terminal side of angle theta. That means the point 5, 3 is on the terminal side. And remember, the terminal side is where you end. So what we're saying is our terminal side, it must be something like, it must be doing something like that. And the point 5, 3 is on that, is on that terminal side. So that's the point 5, 3. And again, what that means is, since that's just a coordinate, that means that the x distance is 5 and the y distance is 3. And we don't know angle theta, or at least we don't need to know it, but we are told that that's the angle that's, that's how much we rotated, that angle, whatever it is. So now we've got to evaluate all these trig functions. Well, we are looking at a right triangle, and so at this point we could do tangent because we know the opposite side and the adjacent side. So tangent would be 3 over 5. And obviously we know cotangent because it's the reciprocal of tangent, so now we can put that one in. Okay, uh, however, cosine and sine involve the hypotenuse of this triangle. And so in order to get that, we've got to use the Pythagorean theorem to get that, to get that hypotenuse. So uh, 5 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared. And this is 25 plus 9, which is um, 34. So that means that C is the square root of 34. Square root of 34. All right, and now we can get the other two. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, 3 over root 34. Cosecant is the reciprocal of that. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's 5 over root 34. And secant is the reciprocal of that. So hopefully that wasn't so bad. Um, but do pay attention to the vocabulary. You know, know what the terminal side is in these problems. Let's do the next one. It says the point negative 4, negative 6 is on the terminal side of angle theta. So negative 4, negative 6 is in this quadrant. And it must mean that after we rotate, we're, we're somewhere in that direction. So again, remember, we always started here. We must have rotated that amount. So that's my angle theta. And the point, negative 4, negative 6, is on that terminal ray. And so if we draw our triangle, that side would be negative 4, that side would be negative 6. Again, we can get tangent very easily. Now, again, please pay attention. I have to label this side of this triangle negative 4 because we are now in the x, we are in the Cartesian plane. So negatives matter. So I went negative 4, uh, left 4, down 6. Negative 4, negative 6. 
Um, so that means I can get tangent, right? Tangent is opposite over uh, adjacent. And one thing you should note is that even though the angle we rotated is this, so we are taking the sine of this big obtuse, you know, this big angle, it's bigger than 180 degrees, we, we use the angle that's made with the x-axis, we use that angle, we refer to it to do our sine, cosine, and tangent, to do our trig functions. Okay, that's why it's called the reference angle, because we refer to it. Otherwise, our, our uh, trig definitions, opposite over hypotenuse, etc., doesn't make sense. So that is the reference angle. The reference angle is the angle made with the x-axis. Okay, so tangent is therefore opposite over adjacent, negative 6 over negative 4. But that, of course, is a negative divided by negative. Those are just positive. So 6 over 4. Cotangent is 4 over 6. And similarly, we need to do the Pythagorean theorem to get the hypotenuse there. So the hypotenuse, C, C squared equals negative 4 squared plus negative 6 squared. And of course, when you square negatives, they become positives. And this is um, 52. So C is the square root of 52. So there's my hypotenuse, and now I can do the other ones. Uh, the sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, so negative 6 over square root of 52. Cosecant is square root of 52 over negative 6. And cosine is negative 4 over root 52. And secant is therefore root 52 over negative 4.